may not know me, but I'm your hydrometer. I hang out on the side of your house and measure the electricity that goes into your home. Sometimes, like in the middle of the night when everybody's asleep and not much is happening, I don't have much to do. And sometimes, like on a hot summer day when the air conditioner, the dryer, the refrigerator, and half a dozen appliances are running, phew, well, I get a real workout. Horizon Utilities safely delivers electricity along those wires you see birds sitting on above your head and through the cables that travel beneath the ground. Now you know what is in those green boxes on people's lawns. I keep a close eye on how much electricity you are using in your home. Someone has to come and look at me every month or two to see how much electricity this house has used. Horizon Utilities uses this information to calculate the electricity bill for this house. The less you use, the less you pay. Wow, look at that relic. Dials are not so cool. I got here just in time. Hey, who are you calling a relic? Well, if the name fits, people call me Smart Meter. What makes you so smart? I can send information about electricity used in this house to Horizon Utilities electronically. That way, no one needs to drive a vehicle and waste gas to come and read me. I can also detect when there's a power outage, even before the homeowner knows it. And I'm here to save the people who live in this house from wasting electricity. Wasting electricity? Who cares about that? We all should, because whenever we forget to turn off the lights when we leave a room or leave a computer on in the bedroom upstairs while we're downstairs playing video games, we are contributing to air pollution and climate change. Well, maybe you have a point there. There's more. I not only measure how much electricity is being used in your house, I also measure when you're using it. So you can tell time. Big deal. What difference does it make when you use electricity? Well, it's a simple case of demand and supply. When everyone is demanding more and more electricity, the supply gets smaller and smaller so that soon we either have to build another very expensive plant to produce electricity or we have to import power from outside the province. Either way, it can get really expensive. But what do you mean by demand? Well, I'll give you an example. It's late in the afternoon. Hey, Mom, Kids just came home from school. The TV is on, the computer is on, the refrigerator door keeps opening and closing, Dinner is cooking on the stove, and the air conditioner turns on because the house is heating up. Sound familiar? It sure does. On top of that, most businesses and factories are still open at this time of day and are using lots of electricity. This is when Ontario's electricity distribution network is working the hardest. This is what we call peak demand, when the price for electricity is the highest. Peak demand? Oh, I get it, like a mountain peak. It is really high. Exactly. So by keeping track of when electricity is being used, you can be charged different amounts. When the demand is low... Like in the middle of the night. Not many people are using electricity, so it's cheaper to buy since there's a lot of it available. Once everyone gets up and starts turning on the lights, we enter what is called a mid-peak time. That's so smart. I bet there's even a price that's right in the middle to go along with it. Right. But wait until you hear the next part. It's even smarter. If the people in this house are smart and decide to use their appliances that use the most energy, like their clothes dryer, air conditioner, or dishwasher during the off-peak or even mid-peak period, they'll get a real bargain by paying less for the electricity they use. You mean they will save money? Right. Pretty smart, eh? More than that, they'll be saving precious energy so that we'll have power when we need it. I hate to admit it, but smart meter makes sense. When does this all happen? All homes in Ontario will have smart meters by December 31st, 2010. There's got to be more to it than just that. You're right, there is. What it comes down to is that we all have to be more careful about how we use electricity. It's all about energy conservation.
And now it's up to you to explore the PowerWise home. Can you discover the best ways to save energy? 